So good evening, and um, it's my presentation for today, my communication, a few things that I just want to talk to you all about. Um, it's a great day in Unit 4, um, and what I also want to do right now is to take a moment of silence because today marks the anniversary um, of the September um, 11th attack and back in 2001, so if we can all just take a moment. Thank you. It's one of those days I'll never forget, when you, especially when you have family in New York. Um, that was a, one of those days. I'm sure everybody remembers where they were when it took place, and so um, we just want to make sure we honor. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is we want to celebrate our Early Learning Center, CECC, earned a gold circle of quality rating. Um, we're plow proud and pleased to announce the Champaign Early Childhood Center achieved the gold circle of quality rating from the Excel Rate Illinois. Um, Excel Rate Illinois is the state's quality recognition um, and improvement system for early learning programs. Um, the, golden, the gold circle of quality recognizes programs which have demonstrate equality on all standards as validated by the independent assessor. Um, the Gold Circle programs meet or exceed specific quality benchmarks on learning um, environment, instructional quality, um, and all administrative standards, group size and ratios, qualifications, and professional development. So this was not something that was just handed to them. They worked hard and earned it. So let's give it up for our um, CECC program. Works just, better. Just the same okay, thank you. Appreciate it. I got the new one. Backwards. Now I got to learn how to use it. Um, it's not working now. It looks nice. It's pretty. Oh, there we oh, go. There, there we go. All righty, here we are. Oh, wow. So we also want to shout out and congratulate our News Gazette Teacher of the Week, Tyler Reifsteck um, at Carrie Busey. Um, um, Tyler is the multi-language learner English as a second language teacher um, at, at Carrie Busey, and we want to shout him out and say congratulations, job well done, and well deserved. Yes. <laughs> I, I promise I'm not doing this. Just, yeah, you all keep just clicking away for me, okay? Thank you. Um, this one here, this last, last Friday, yeah, last Friday, U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth visited Unit 4's transportation um, to learn more about our routing system, the Ride 360 app, and to discuss her reintroduction of legislation um, regarding the School Bus Safety Act. Um, you can see her press release and um, the speech and everything on the district website. And it was also an opportunity for us to just kind of chat about our transportation, um, things that were going on. Next slide, please. Um, and just kind of, this is a perfect opportunity to just kind of talk a little bit about transportation. Um, and I just want to say, because I know board members, you've been getting a lot of questions as well as I have, and as well as our um, um, administrators who work in transportation. But I want to take this time to sincerely apologize to all of our families um, for any and all inconvenience our transportation um, challenges have caused some of our families. Um, I also want to take this time to say thank you um, to all who have reached out with potential solutions, um, offering supportive comments, we understand. Um, um, those who have committed to and signed up to to transport their children to and from school. Um, there's a push out there for the reimbursement piece, so if you have not done that, um, reach out to our transportation department. Um, it may take a little bit of time to get some, some responses back because, again, I want to say thank you to our transportation folks because our administrators are out there on the buses, driving the buses. The routers are out there subbing and on the bus driving. Um, we also want to say thank you for your patience. I also want to say thank you to all those who work in transportation department because with all of the negativity that is hitting them, um, they still keep coming to work. 
Um, those who still keep coming to work to drive our kids to and from school is greatly appreciated. Um, and we've said this before, the only way we're going to attract and, and retain quality people is if we stop beating up on each other and, and actually support one another. No one is doing this on purpose. <laughs> Um, and so I know some of you get questions about we don't care about kids and getting them to school and that could be the furthest from the truth. If I could drive a bus, I would, but you don't want me driving a bus because it's illegal for me to try to get on a bus to drive it. Um, and so I just want to say again, thank you for the patience. Um, we are trying to create, we, have, we are creating potential long-term and short-term um, solutions such as combining routes, uh, running double routes when necessary, which makes b buses are running later. Um, transportation admin and routers are filling in as bus drivers. Um, we're looking at utilizing a potential sign-on bonus. Um, bottom line, we just need more drivers. We pay well. We can offer flexible working hours. So if you're interested in a full-time or part-time bus driver positions, Ken, Mr. Kleber, so you can apply online, champagneschools.org slash employment. I will talk a little bit more about it later when I talk about our mm -hmm. uh, driver trainee program. But um, there, there are opportunities for people who are already licensed as a school bus driver in Illinois, which is a complex system that we don't control, but we have some influence over, and I'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And then uh, people who have a clean driving record but no experience driving a school bus, uh, we will work with you to get you trained, licensed, paid training, all that good stuff, and I'll say more in a little bit. All right, thank you. And it's, and, I, and, and it's not that we're making excuses, I just want people to understand this is a deep, complex, um, challenging issue that is running across the whole country. Um, we're not in it by ourselves. I talked to many of my colleagues across the country um, and in the state of Illinois, and we're all vying for the same pool of people. It's very difficult. Um, just like the teacher shortage, there's a bus driver shortage. The only difference is if I don't have a teacher to sub, I can combine classes um, and put numbers of kids in auditorium or, or gymnasium or what have you. We can do those things, um, and they can still learn. It's not the optimal um, learning environment, but we can't do that with buses. There's only so many people and so many students you can put on a bus. There's some legal ramifications. So I just want people to know we are working hard trying to address this situation. So I don't want people thinking that we're not. And again, my d deepest, and I, I really am, I'm very, very sorry. Um, we can't control it, but we're trying to influence what we, can control, what we can't control. Okay, next slide, please. Um, we also want to say um, there was a real life princess visit at Carrie Busey. Carrie Busey is in the news this week. <laughs> um, real life princess visit at Carrie Busey Elementary. Um, Sarah Culberson um, was the assembly speaker at Carrie Busey. She challenged students to think of possibilities for their lives. Um, after being adopted and raised in the United States, um, Princess Sarah learned that she is a Medi princess, Sierra Leone, um, and Princess Sarah is the sister of Carrie Busey teacher Laura Murphy. So you can see the kids are attentive, they are asking questions, and so to have a real life princess um, in our school, in our system was pretty cool. So congratulations, Carrie Busey, for inviting um, Princess Sarah to our district. Um, yay! Um, next slide, please. Um, CU Schools Foundation hosted the 365 Club Breakfast, and it's always at the, be the beginning of the school year, and it's pretty awesome. You can see all the faces there. Um, they hosted another phenomenal 365 um, Club Breakfast, um, and if you want to um, be a part of that 365, you just have to donate to the CU Schools Foundation $365, and you, can, you too can be a part of the 365 Club. Um, the Centennial Choir was absolutely outstanding. I was so proud to see them and they they owned that room and the song was so appropriate and you know when you see me you know what do people think when you see me kind of thing and it, it was a powerful song it was beautiful um, our Kenwood teacher Miss Donovan um, she shared a few words and I, I talked a little bit about the the, the state of the district um, and so we just want to say thank you to the CU Foundation for all their support that they provide to unit four students and our educators next slide please so please charge this to my head and not to my heart, but you'll recall clapping for a student who participate for, for students who participated in the Summer Special Olympics. 
Well, we need to recognize one more student, so we want to shout out Ms. Um, Rory Gordon um, for her achievements. This amazing student won um, a gold and a silver medal. So we didn't get a chance to shout her out the first time, um, and so when we realized what happened, I felt really bad, so we want to give her her slide here and her moment. So way to go, Rory. <laughs> Next slide. I read, I count, volunteers are needed. Can we count on you? Um, time commitment is one hour a week between October 23rd and December 1st. Choose the school and the time that works best for your schedule. Application deadline is Friday, September 15th. We need volunteers. Volunteers, get the job done. Next slide, please. Um, Operation Care and Closets, and that is also sponsored by our uh, CU Schools Foundation. So we're accepting donations. Um, you can also click on this um, UR code um, there, and, and if you want to um, donate, um, purchase, purchase off this list. There's a wish list, so you don't have to just kind of figure out what it is. It's there for you. Dr. Harden is our representative for Unit 4, um, so you can scan the QR code and see the wish list and how to donate items. And so if you need more information, contact school, CU Schools Foundation or Dr. James Harden. Next slide, please. Community flyers, um, we have a web page now. Unit 4, um, we have a lot of community members who want to donate and, and or give things or get information out. So we have a flyer that, uh, a website that you can upload um, as a courtesy. courtesy. Um, the district shares flyers from local community organizations. Um, all the approved flyers can now be found on our website. Um, submission requests flow through the communications department, so visit the communications um, web page um, for instructions. So all things on the flyer web page right there. Another way for communication. Um, cue it up, guys. Play the preview. For this episode, we're going to highlight Dr. James Harden, Executive Director of Family and Community Engagement and SEL. Education starts at home. Parents are their children's first teacher. From the time a student is born into this world all the way through the rest of their lives, the family, the parents are the teachers and the guardians are the teachers. The village is the teacher. As a school district, we are part of a greater village. Every treadmill works. Mm -hmm. You just have to get on the treadmill and work it. Our schools work. Our curriculum works. Our teachers are amazing. Our principals are outstanding. But you have to be there to experience it every single day. SEL stands for Social Emotional Learning. My most memorable teachers knew that I was a person and they took care of me as a human beyond the curriculum. Also, as a district, we value social emotional learning so much that in every single school, we have carved out time and curriculum to teach students socially and emotionally. That's just a little snippet of our next, the podcast that is out, um, the new episode, and it's called Every Treadmill Works, and our special guest was Dr. James Harden, <laughs> so, and we talk about the school supply giveaway, attendance, immunizations, how to ex access supports, because we have a lot of things that are going on in our system and across our district, and a lot of families don't know how to access some things, um, and so we wanted to make sure that we put that out there, so visit the ChampagneSchools.org podcast, and we're on many different platforms, um, and I'm sure we're probably on one of your favorites. So thank you to our communications department and IT for helping with that. Next slide, please, and I'm almost finished. Just wanted you to know that we have um, our apps. If you have not downloaded the new apps, everything Unit 4 in your pocket, it is a Unit 4 app, provides real-time updates from your child's school and the district. You can also check the mail menu and stay in the loop with your child's um, grades. Um, our transportation department also has rolled out um, Ride 360, and this app lets families track their child's bus route and arrival times. Both of these apps are free in the Apple and Google Play stores. Search your app store for Champagne Unit 4 and Ride 360. Again, if you have issues with any of those two apps in, after you've installed them, uninstall them, reinstall them, and you, generally that helps. And it only works with if you have your contact information is updated and accurate. Next slide, please. Attend today, achieve tomorrow. We know attendance is powerful, and so that's why we want to make sure we do our best to get every student to school um, to, to help with their academic success.
And that's all I have.